everybody. I want to start today off with a joke. My joke is, how do bears walk around? They walk around in their bare feet. Today I'd like to share a book with you called Field Day Friday. It's by Judith Kaisley. Mickey's best friend lived right next door. His name was John, but everyone called him Long John. When jo Long John was born, the nurse remarked, this baby is so long, he's off the chart. She called him Long John and the nickname stuck. Mickey and Long John did everything together. In the morning, they went outside in their pajamas. Mickey got the newspaper and Long John decided what the weather would be like. They put on their knapsacks, which is like a backpack, and walked to school together. Mama and Jenna trailed behind. Big and little, said Jenna and Mama. What a riot, said Mama. Mickey and Long John played together every day after school. Sometimes they collected bugs at Long John's house with their nets and their jars. When Jenna went with them, she set the bugs free. Sometimes they made a tent at Mickey's house using sheets and pillows and chairs and tables. If Mama wasn't looking, they shared a snack underneath. Sometimes they ran. Mickey was short and sturdy and quick. Long John was tall and thin and speedy. When they raced in the playground, it often was a tie. You're fast, said Mickey. So are you, said Long John. When Mickey announced that it was field day on Friday, Mama said, how wonderful, Papa said, You'll enjoy the games. Jenna said, maybe you'll win a prize. Field day arrived and the children were divided into teams of different colors. Mickey and Long John were the blue team together. My favorite color, said Mickey. Mine too, said Long John. It'll give us good luck. Mama and Papa and Jenna came to watch and the games began. Egg and spoon announced the gym teacher handing Mickey a spoon with an egg on it. Mickey walked slowly and handed it to Jessica. Jessica took baby steps and handed it to Long John who took the spoon carefully but dropped the egg quickly. Now we, all we need is bacon said Mickey which made Long John laugh. Would that make you laugh or would that make you mad? It was time for the crab walk. Jeffrey scuttered backwards on his hands and his feet. Then came Amanda who bumped into Mickey who nearly landed on Long John. The blue team won. Crabs like blue, explained Mickey. It reminds them of water, said Long John. The next game they played was called Waiter and Waitress. Long John took a tray, laid a napkin on top, and then a cup and a saucer, a spoon and a fork. He got ready to go. He held the tray like a waiter with his hand in the air and carried it to Haley who carried the tray as it rattled and shook and handed it to Mickey. Mickey started walking, but the napkin flew away and it got caught in a tree. The tree was hungry, said Long John, when the blue team lost, which made Mickey laugh. It 
It was time for the dress up race. Troy put on the big shirt and a huge pair of trousers and an oversized hat and an enormous pair of boots. Then he trampled over Jessica and took off his clothing and Jessica got dressed and stomped over to Mickey who stuck his head through the armhole. I need practice, said Mickey, handing the buckle, uh, excuse me, the bundle to Long John. My mother helps me, said Long John. When the pants gave him trouble, the orange team won. Maybe their mothers don't help them, whispered Mickey to Long John. Maybe not, said Long John. Shoe race, cried the gym teacher. The children unlaced their sneakers and threw them into a heap. When the whistle blew, everyone dove into the pile to find their shoes again. But Miffy, Mickey's left sneaker was buried at the bottom. He was slow putting it on. And the yellow team won. Their shoes had more Velcro, said Long John to Mickey. We're the best. Don't brag. Win a medal? Tie your sneakers? We're the fastest, the gym teacher announced. 50-yard dash, we're the best, said Long John. We're the fastest, said Mickey. Don't brag, Aunt said Mama. Tie your sneakers, said Papa. Win a medal, said Jenna. On your mark, get set, go, cried the gym teacher. The children started running and running and running, and Mickey pulled ahead. Then Long John caught up and passed Mickey by a foot. Then Mickey sprinted forward, and they were neck and neck. He was close to the finish line, and he knew he was winning. I don't know if you noticed what happened in the picture there. And then his sneaker fell off. Mickey put it back on, but it fell off again. And children kept running and Long John won the ribbon that said first place runner. You see how dissatisfied he is. The children started laughing when Mickey crossed the finish line with the sneaker in one hand. It's not funny, said Jenna. What a shame, said Mama. I shouldn't have tied, I should have tied his shoelaces, said Papa. They laughed and Mickey came in last. It was time for the watermelon and everybody ate some except for Mickey, who said he wasn't hungry. Then they all went home. Mickey stayed inside for the longest time. When Long John, Long John came over, Mickey wouldn't make a tent or hunt for bugs or go to the playground. He's upset, said Jenna, but she had an idea. Can you think of what you might think Jenna's idea is? Jenna and Long John um, went to the kitchen. They found the glue and her glitter, her marker and the some cloth and then they set to work. Think about what they might be making. When they finished, Jenna called Mickey. Long John said, and now for your prize. He and Jenna took the ribbon made out of cloth, glue and glitter and they pinned it on Mickey. On the front, Jenna had written first place brother. Underneath Long John wrote first place friend. It's nice, said Mickey, but I wish it were for running. Next year, said Jenna, we'll come in together, said Long John. They'll have to give us two medals, said Mickey, and he started to smile. Then they all went bug hunting, and when they were finished, Jenna, Set the bugs free. The end. Boys and girls, I bet you're missing somebody right now that you play with at school all the time. Just uh, know that we all miss you and we're thinking about you and we hope to see you in person very soon. 
So take care of yourself, be healthy, and this is all for today. Thanks.